Victory or death! Victor of Death Starfighters, my name is Carlin Jones, and this is a Starfighter full episode review, and we are going to be watching episode two of Dance Academy. The pilot was pretty damn good, so I'm like, all right, we have to watch episode two. Let's see what else happens with these characters. The tension that's going to build up between, uh, I've already forgot these characters' names, but there's some great tension between the roommates, the girl who tried to snitch, snitch on her to uh to leave the academy and then um there's obviously you know i hate the romance they kind of have right now between the, the main character and this other guy they literally look the same so i don't really see what she finds attractive in that but whatever to each their own so we're going to get right into this episode and start talking about some dance academy so if you want to watch this episode along with me there is a youtube channel dedicated to dance academy it is verified they have all the episodes all the seasons and maybe even the movie because i even heard there is a actual movie that takes place during season three or after season three uh one of those so yeah i will put that link below and you can follow me on there. So we're going to get started with this episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, look, they have a previously. Abigail and Tyre. Tyre or Tyre? Tyra, okay. <laughs> But she said she sounded like it said Tara. I wonder why she helped her. Well, I mean, it's kind of like the right thing to do, right? But I wonder why. I'm not willing to believe she's just this uh, very nice person willing to help everyone. Unfortunately, people are not like that. <laughs> this is a good theme. I like this theme. I think I like the visuals a lot more. Very clear, very crystal. Um, yeah. <clears throat> of course, it takes place in Australia. Maybe one day I'll I'll go to Australia. I'll head over to Sydney. I'll head over there when you guys fix your your spider problem. <laughs> I heard there's way too many spiders out there. All right, is this another flashback episode? Oh shit, that's a kangaroo. Why were you even taking care of a baby kangaroo? Where is this mother? Oh my god. Don't kangaroos, and maybe I don't know this, I should read up on this, but don't kangaroos... Hey, it said this is di uh, directed by Jeremy Walker. Is that the guy from Ocean Girl? Anyway. Aren't kangaroos kind of like the same as sheep in terms of like they need to be uh, ca uh, taken care of by their mother? If they're taken care of by anyone else and if they're gone away for too long from their mother, they smell different and the mom will reject them because they're just... Their scent is just different. They're going to just think that's just not them. I don't know. I should research that. I should look that up. Pretty cool bridge. Wait, what? That's the bridge in Sydney? There's like no guardrail between incoming traffic it's just <laughs> how many accidents has happened there oh i know she's dying that's a long those are some big steps Oh, I get it. Oh, 
Oh my god. What a fake ass bitch. Oh, punch. Oh, don't punch her. That's assault. <laughs> you better tell her off. Wait, wait. But she doesn't know, does she? Oh, she doesn't know. Wow. What a fake ass trick. Or excuse me. She's not a trick. What a fake ass person. So fake. How can you how can you lie to yourself like that? Shh. He's like, uh, okay. <laughs> God damn, nigga, you see I'm talking to her? Oh, she's rooming with her. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> no, 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 but seriously, that's, that, that, that can't go. That's, that's going to be way too distracting. And plus, she's attractive. That's way too distracting. Oh, that's too distracting. Oh my god, don't drop the contacts. Turn the water off. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, ew, I don't want to see that. What a fucking... See, this is what I'm talking about. Distracting. Contacts, man. See, this is why I... That's why I don't have contacts. Because I wear glasses. And I remember years ago, they're like, do you want contacts? And they tried to put it, put it in my eye, and I'm just like, I don't want that. <laughs> I just can't have anything near my eye, on my eye. I don't even like wearing glasses. But... <laughs> It's just too much. What does that have to do with my fucking eyesight? If I can't see the place. If it's lit visibly hidden. Fuck this guy. I can't believe... I can't believe he's rooming with her. I mean, listen. I have a lot of female friends... And if I was like rooming with them, if they're like my roommates and stuff like that, obviously it's going to be pretty chill. It's going to be pretty cool. It's, you know, boundaries, respectful, you know, it's all, it's all respect. All right. But this is clearly someone you don't know. You don't know their tendencies. There's just a lot of distractions, right? And sometimes that is a roommate situation to be in. You don't know someone and you, you kind of just met them and then that's just that. If I was her roommate, I would honestly ask her to dinner just so I can get a feel for her. You know, tendencies, what do you like, what do you don't like, are you allergic to anything, this and that and a third. Watch out, bro. I would love to see the behind the scenes of this. I want to see how much training they actually went through. Okay, so here's a good question. Who's your favorite dancer of all time? Like, if you have a favorite dancer. For me, mine's is... uh. Marsha K. Mikhail K. Oh man, I think I forgot her name. But I remember seeing a Google art many, many, many years ago. I think back in high school. And it was this dancer from the 1940s. Uh, this Asian woman. And the way she moved, the way she danced, it was just like, I honestly felt like she wasn't dancing. I just, it just, it just looked something so fluid and so 
visually eye pleasing. I don't know how to describe it. The way she was moving was just, I don't know. It just felt like I, I wasn't watching a dance. I was just watching art in a sense. So uh, let me look up her name. It's something K. Google. Dancing. Okay, I don't know. You literally have no training. <laughs> if anything, this is a, a blessing that they're allowing you to do that. Still looking up the dancer's name. I can't find it. What the fuck? What do you see in him? He's you. <laughs> Am I the only one that that can't that that sees that? He's literally you. I don't know. I don't. Marsha May? No, that's not it. Why do I want to say Marsha May? I know it starts with an M. Later. What a fake ass chick, bro. <laughs> you bet. Oh, I can't wait till she finds out. <laughs> They're going to throw hands. I know it. She has to. Or at least cuss her out. What is her name? Okay, list of dancers. Maybe I can... I don't know. I don't think she's American, though. That's the thing. What is this, that Google? It was like a Google animation. Why do white people always do shit like this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Why? Taking my ass home. <laughs> Is this some type of hazing ritual? Why are they all wearing push-up bras? Then get your ass off. <laughs> You're the one who said he wanted to do it. I don't know. And I don't even know where to find it. Wait, I know. Wait. One more one more search. It's all fun and games until someone dies. Is this supposed to be like a fun moment? Like, why would they do that? Oh, sh Yeah, she's a thrill seeker. Hell no, I can't date that. Well, keeping your eye on her will be keeping an eye on yourself because you look alike. <laughs> oh, come on. They look alike. Martha Graham. That's her name. Found it. Martha Graham. I knew it started with an M. Yeah. She died in 1991, was born in 1894. Holy shit. She lived for a long time. Does it really matter how you die at such an old age? <laughs> it's just like you if you just died. <laughs> People are like, you should have died a long time ago. The life expectancy in America is, is pretty uh it's, it's not that high. It's like what, sixty, seventy or something? No, like probably like seventy something. Yeah, Martha Graham. Yeah, I really love her um let me see if I can find her Google animation thingy. What are you doing? So disrespectful. And I mean on the student student part. The teacher teacher was in the right right there. I don't see the drama. Why are you so fucking stupid? <laughs> Respect the teacher. And then, <laughs> and then she sees this dude kiss. That's hilarious. Double whammy. Double whammy. I'll tell you what, this second episode isn't as good as the first one, but it's pretty funny. Wow. 
What a fake friend. She, this girl is literally plotting on your downfall. She's waiting for it. Yeah, there's got to be some boundaries. Um, okay. <laughs> what do you want her to say with that? The girl part or the guy part? Fuck this guy. Should have just towed him off. What's up with people just not sticking up for themselves? <laughs> That's what this episode should be called. This episode is called Week Zero. It should be called No Backbone. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this bitch. That's right. Well, it's never never speak on no. When someone's speaking on someone that isn't there, you don't listen. That's that's the saying she's trying to say. That's right. Tell her off. There you go. Oh wait, you don't hit her. Oh, you oh, you can't put your hands on her. You can't put your hands on her. You're for sure out of the school now. You can't. That's abuse, right? That's abuse. She print. I'm surprised she didn't go to the to the to the teachers. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that girl didn't do anything else. There's no way she just wouldn't have said anything. You can't just put your hands on someone like that. I mean, again, they should have definitely scrapped, but it was a that was kind of like a sucker punch, you know? Fucking hate her. What a fucking hater. And that's her roommate too, right? Fight! Come on! We literally... I don't know how like, you literally can put your hands on someone and you have to see them literally when you go to sleep. <laughs> like, we'll just settle this when we get back to the dorm. When everyone's sleeping, you literally hear nothing but wrestling going on. <laughs> that's all they need to do. Just fight it out. I, the whole... Listen, you don't truly know someone until you fight them. That is word is bond. They will respect each other after they fight. I didn't like this ending. This didn't make any sense. There's no way she would be, she would still stay at that school after putting her hands on somebody else. There's no way. Absolutely no way. Hmm. 
Uh, interesting episode. And that's, yeah, that's it. That's the episode. Um, yeah, interesting episode. Um, it was good. It was good, but not better than the first one, but uh, still good. Uh, I'll definitely keep watching. I'll watch the third one. Um, but yeah, I can't believe she put her hands on her. And again, I know I always seem like I was instigating and stuff like that, right? But it's like, you can't. First of all, if there's going to be a fight, the other person has to acknowledge it too, right? Or else it's just like a sucker punch. It's just, it's un it's unwarranted if if the person is just completely caught off guard. You guys literally sleep in the same room. So you just tell her, you're talking shit. I will see you tonight. <laughs> Keep that same energy when, I'm, when we're all alone, right? You're not around your friends and whatnot. So... And then at that point, you just, you duke it out. And I guarantee if they would have duke it out in their own dorm, they would have respected each other. You don't truly know someone until you fight them. Because when you fight someone, you literally have this gauge of knowing how hard of a work or how hard of a worker, how much ambition, how much gut someone truly has. I don't know that sounds weird, but in high school, I did wrestling and... I remember at a wrestling meet, I had to wrestle my friend, like a really good friend in high school. And I was like, wow, I can't believe we have to like, you know, wrestle each other. And when we were wrestling each other, I totally won, by the way. But <laughs> when we wrestled each other, I had so much more respect for him. Or we had so much more respect for each other because I knew just how how hard he was willing to work or how he, how, how much he was willing to sacrifice to to get something he wanted. That's that's kind of like what you feel for somebody after you you fight for them. You kind of know what someone's willing to do and what they're not willing to do. So at that point in time, you just have a, a newfound respect for someone once you fight them. Um, <clears throat> that's why you kind of see that all the time in hockey. Um, it's kind of embedded in our culture. Although hockey hockey fighting doesn't really solve anything. But again, they should have duked it out. Um, she definitely should not put her hands on her without her uh, knowing that a punch or a slap was coming, especially from a shoe. You assaulted her with a weapon. That's assault. That's 100% assault. I don't know how old these people are. I'm going to assume they're like 18. They're probably like 16, 17 or something like that. Um, I, yeah, that's assault. She should be in jail or something. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's me. Um, on, let's read a few comments read a few comments um this one says abigail has the best character growth throughout the series i don't know who abigail is uh, maybe that's like the mean girl usually that's what they do for characters they have them be mean and then you can see why they're mean and then is it all develops from there and this one says i love that none of the actors in this show are excessive excessively thin um i haven't noticed so yeah maybe that's why i haven't noticed <laughs> Um, another thing, another comment says, I'm embarrassed to say that this, I'm embarrassed to say, but I'm, oh, I'm embarrassed to say this, but this is my 25th time watching through the series. I'm not even exaggerating. I relate to this series so much. I love watching things related to ballet. Um, that's cool. Um, another one says, as a non-dancer, I keep watching if Tara is actually dancing that bad to be honest i hardly see any difference compared to the later seasons huh no well, that means she doesn't become a good dancer uh all right, all right two more um i'm sorry but when tara got knocked over by the guys in the chicken costume i laughed um all right and then this one says why did i realize that christian was top 10 in all of the classes does no one addresses that she assaulted <laughs> her roommate why does no one address this yeah that's weird no one no one addresses this okay someone says y'all don't understand how happy i was that tara hit abigail in the face it's assault that's assault someone said yeah me too and someone said well you're mean and then someone says live for the moment and then someone else says I just started watching today from the start. I was actually think that Abigail is the mean girl, but I wasn't too sure. 
when it, so when Tara hit her in the face, I was just screaming and jumping around. And I think that proves I'm gonna watch the show over and over. That's assault. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna leave a comment. Let's see. When did she when did she attack her? When did she assaulted her? Hold on. I'm gonna Okay, here it is. All right, here he goes. 2126. 2126. So this is the comment I'm going to leave. Should I do this on my YouTube channel? Yeah. No. Should I? Should I? Should I? Yeah. Why not? Okay. I'm going to leave a comment through my YouTube channel because now I'm on like my personal channel. And um, I don't know how long this is going to take to load. Yeah, that's assault. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what people yeah this is gonna take a while but I'm gonna leave this comment so yeah that is the episode I will see you guys on episode 3 because there will definitely be an episode 3 but until then um, I will see you on the next one but until then victory or death starfighters victory or death <laughs>